Here's a concise summary of the latest KitOps updates and features. We're calling this new update the Ryan Edition. Firstly, snapping options have been added to the free version, offering a variety of snapping choices. Secondly, we've introduced a recursive purge function for unused data blocks accessible via the Tools section. Thirdly, the Create Inserts and Create Materials buttons have been remapped to match the respective right-click functions, ensuring consistency. Fourthly, we relocated the Remove KitOps Props buttons for easier access when adding inserts. Fifthly, Group Mode will now automatically deactivate when editing an insert to prevent issues. We've also included a beta catalog option for converting existing Blender asset libraries to KPAX for KitOps complete with thumbnail previews. Other improvements include a new layout for creation buttons and an open KPAX directory button for quick folder access and a progress bar for reporting asset processing. Several bug fixes have been addressed, such as issues with insert locations, union inserts not displaying in render view, and ordering bugs related to main objects as cutters. Finally, we've added the ability to change an insert target, allowing users to select different objects as targets for their inserts. These updates apply to both KitOps Pro and KitOps Free.